Belated Happy New Year! This is Truby, your certified aromatherapist, graduate of New York Institute of Aromatic Studies, and for today we have yet another smell test video. And for today's video, I will be comparing these unique oils. It's called the Amiris. If you've never heard about them, then please keep on watching. All right, so for today we have Amiris. And if you've never heard about Amiris, it's actually an oil or a component used mostly in the fragrance industry. And this is normally used as a lower or cheaper alternative for sandalwood. And today, <laughs> I have this on display. This is from Organic Aromas. They sent this to me a few years back and I really love this. I still use it. It's waterless diffuser, but don't worry. I actually don't have oils in here. I'm just diffusing water <laughs> so that my cats are safe. It's just there for aesthetic purposes. All right, so don't mind me using this around my cats. They're totally safe, don't worry. All right, so for today, we will be talking about Amiris. Just a bit of a background. I actually got my first bottle of Amiris from Amphora Aromatics as an accident. It's actually a boo-boo from their sales representative. I was looking for sandalwood for my, I think, one of my beauty courses. And when I saw this, it says sandalwood. I grabbed it and I was so excited because it was really affordable. This was only about 800 as compared to your regular sandalwood that would go about, what, 4,000, 3,000 plus per 10 mils. So I was really excited to get it. As soon as I got home, I searched for the Latin binomial and realized that I got the wrong bottle. It's actually Amiris. And you know, it really dawned on me that you actually have to check out the Latin binomial when buying your oils as compared to just relying on the labels. Because sometimes it can be misleading. So that's one thing that you have to remember as certified aromatherapists or as oil enthusiasts. If you want to look for oils, check out their Latin binomial. And most of the pure essential oil brands or companies out there, they take time to put the Latin binomial or the scientific name on the label. So it's clear for the users to pick out the specific oils that they really need. So that's a boo-boo for me. But before anything else, let me just read through the information about Amiris. Amiris is very unique. Not all oil companies would have it simply because it's not commonly used by a layperson. This is normally used in the fragrance industry as a fixative because it has a pretty viscous, semi-viscous, I would say, consistency. It has a more watery texture versus your sandalwood, but the viscosity is there. Therefore, it can be used as a fixative. It's also a grounding oil, so if you're not into that, super heavily grounding oils like vetiver and pettigrain, you would probably be drawn towards these types of oils. Those that are resinous, like your frankincense, those are grounding but not really that heavy. Same thing with your amiris. Okay, so let me just read through information about amiris. Amiris is also called as the West Indian sandalwood. As compared to the real sandalwood, it's called East Indian sandalwood. Remember that. So in a way, these companies are just, you know, tiptoeing on the sides. They can actually call it sandalwood because it is also known as West Indian sandalwood as compared to the real sandalwood, which is called the East Indian sandalwood. Remember that. <laughs> and this is from bushy tree with compound leaves and white flowers, which grows wild in thickets all over the island of Haiti. So it's actually super cheap compared to your original Australian or Indian sandalwood okay okay so it's folk tradition locals call it candlewood because it's high in oil content it actually burns like a candle so it's used by it's used as a torch by fishermen and traders and it also makes excellent furniture wood i've never really tried burning this i don't think i'd ever want to do that but I plan to use this in our perfume class. By the way, I'll be holding my natural perfume class this February. I'll put the poster here. You can actually sign up now. 
the price includes the student's kit. So the student's kit includes 10 one ml sized bottles of exotic oils that you can concoct your own fragrances from. Each student is required <laughs> to concoct their own three perfumes. So I will be guiding you through that. You will have the liberty to supplement the oils if you have other oils at home and you'd want to use it in your formulation. I will guide you all through that so that it's a truly personalized experience for everyone, okay? So this oil is normally used in the perfume industry, so I plan to include this in a kit, more or less. And this is normally extracted through steam distillation like most other essential oils from the broken up wood and branches of Amethyst tree. And best if the wood is seasoned first. And it provides a good yield, that's why it's fairly affordable. Characteristics, it is a pale yellow and slightly viscous liquid. That, that's what I've said earlier, it's a little viscous. It has a musty, faintly woody scent that quickly fades away. So this blends well with lavender, citronella, oak moss, cedarwood, and other oils. And I've never really used this for diffusing because I wanted to use this specifically for perfume making. I feel that I will just be wasting this if I use it for diffusion, but you can, of course. I just feel that this has a more specialized use and I wanted to put it in that purpose. Okay, so let's do the smell test. I'll be comparing Amphora Aromatics, this is from UK, and Eden's Garden, this is an American brand. Okay, so... Let us take a whiff. It reminds me of cedar wood. It has that very clean, grounding, woodsy smell. Not really that musky or heavy, which I like. How about this one? Actually, this has a different kind of woody smell. This has a brighter note into it. This has a more woody, like, like an old wood smell. Not really that musky, but you can sometimes detect the difference of the wood. So as to its grounding purposes, I think this would be more effective because it has more of that grounding feeling. Although it's not that heavy. This has a brighter note into it. Very, very close to your resinous oils like almasica or cedar wood. There you go. So this is not to be confused with sandalwood, which is the more expensive version. The natural perfume class kit will also include sandalwood so that you will be able to compare amaris and sandalwood in the perfume class. So there you go. If you want to get to know more about amaris vis-a-vis -vis sandalwood, don't forget to join me on my February sniff sesh next month that's going to be on valentine's day that's february 14th have a valentine's date with me on my february sniff sesh and get to know amaris and sandalwood comparing them side by side you can still join my january sniff sesh this saturday morning and order the oils if you want to join the activity we will be making the replay available for a week for all the participants so for only 50 pesos you can sign up join the monthly oily club that i've started last december and i would love to see you there i would love to hear your thoughts about the oils for this january the oils will be orange palo santo and cypress so there will be three oils monthly for next month it's actually sandalwood amiris and frankincense or elemi if you have so we will be comparing the oils as a community, we will be sharing our thoughts about it, how we feel about it, and how does it smell for you? Because sometimes it's different per person, and it's very interesting to share these thoughts, these insights as a group. So I'm very much excited to invite you to see you there. We have raffle giveaways for every sniff session. So I'm very excited for that, and I will be announcing something this uh, Saturday. So if you have time, or if you don't, you can just still join us the replay will be available for you 
for one week you will still catch it on your free time it's normally just an hour or an hour or so so it's not gonna take your time i normally slate it in the morning because i'm a morning person i like dabbling with oils in the morning it makes me feel happy it starts my day on a good note so i hope it's the same for you i hope you guys enjoyed this quick snip sesh about amiris if you want to get to know more about this or if you want to work on this more don't forget to join me on my february natural perfume class so i will be teaching you this new york institute of aromatic studies trademarked way of blending it's a very systematic way of blending which i find very useful in concocting your own natural perfume so i'll be talking about that i will be teaching you about that if you are serious about dabbling into essential oils in a more systematic manner if you are serious about learning how to make sure that your oils are blended more holistically more systematically then don't forget to join me i'll be teaching you about that okay so thank you so much for joining today's episode i hope you've enjoyed this smell test if you have any other requests on what other oils that i should compare across brands or you know um across notes don't forget to shoot them down below through the comments or leave me a dm on my instagram don't forget to follow me at happy oiler ph or on my main instagram at jaylian85 and i hope to see you on my next video bye